Hey guys, how's it going? Killer Camp here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the recent changes that Blizzard has finally made to World PvP. Now, I'm a huge fan of World PvP, but unfortunately, in its current state, it's, it's just not fun. And the main reason that it's not fun is because you pretty much have to do almost nothing in order to get a positive result. And the main fun in PvP for me personally is knowing that I have to do a series of actions in order to actually, like, win. But in its current state, you pretty much just press one button and you can global someone. That's not really fun PvP for me. And truth be told, I actually wanted to play some cool like world PvP clips throughout this entire video. I checked my entire hard drive, guys. This is a two terabyte hard drive. Entire thing full with PvP and none of it is world PvP. And that right there is a problem, right? So what I'm actually going to do is first go into the changes themselves and then we'll dive in a little bit deeper, all right guys? All right, so starting things off, we have all non-tank specializations now take 40% less damage from enemy players while engaged in PvP. Thank you, God. <laughs> this is the primary issue with World PvP. It was just way too fast-paced. Now, fast-paced gameplay is fun, but once it gets to the point in which literally any player can one-shot one another. It's it's not fun. You don't even have a chance to really react to what's going on. You're just pretty much dead or you killed someone, so to speak, you know? Um, moving on, we have we have reduced the PvP effectiveness of a number of trinkets and Legion legendaries that contributed to excessive burst damage. Thank you, God. Okay, these changes are pretty much preaching to me at this point. This is this is awesome, guys. This is this is all good. Um, first off, they have reduced the uh, um, damage of Drought of Souls by 70%. Now, Drought of Souls isn't going to be too much as a, of an issue as of late because the item level on it is fairly low. I believe it's only 8, yeah, 875 item level. So, um, it's not too common, but it still does have insane capabilities and bursts. It can burst um, over the entire 3 second duration. It can do as much as 1.2 million damage. So, that's, that's actually pretty significant. Um, moving on, we have Cold Heart now deals 75% less damage to enemy players. This is a huge nerf, and I think it's definitely warranted. This would actually function as both high damage and additional CC for the Death Knight. I'm going to read off to you guys really quickly. Um, if Chain's Device is used when you have 20 stacks of Cold Heart, the target will also be stunned in a block of ice for 4 seconds. So you're getting stunned and you're getting destroyed by damage. It's like, come on. <laughs> Give me a break, you know? Um, moving on, we have Kill Jaden's Burning Wish. Now, Kill Jaden, Kill, wow. Kill Jaden's Burning Wish, I actually do have this um, on my Enhancement Shaman, and I have macroed it to my Lightning Bolt, and I can get as much as 4 million um, damage out in one global. It is insanely powerful, so I'm actually happy to see um, them nerfing it because it was... I felt dirty using it, guys. I, just, I felt dirty sometimes. Um, now, they've reduced the damage by 50, uh, by 60% to all enemy players. And guys, keep in mind, these nerfs are on top of the 40% damage reduction that we're going to be doing to all um, players while in, world, while in the world. Um, moving on, Insignia of the Ravenhold now deals 50% less damage to enemy players. And now Insignia of the Ravenhold, this is again another really powerful rogue legendary. This actually has like raid wiping capabilities. I do have a clip of three rogues that actually go in and they pretty much destroy my entire friend's raid. Uh, he's a fellow YouTuber, I'm sure you guys know him, I'm gonna play the clip in a few. But they destroy the entire raid, guys. It's 15 versus 3 and they just... <laughs> they just rogued it up, man. <laughs> Moving on, we have Pillars of Inmost Light. Um, now increases um, Eye of Tear damage by 150%. Previously was um, 300%. Now, a lot of you guys are asking yourself, what the hell is that? This is actually a Protection Paladin ability. And they would pretty much put a Shield of Light on them. If you damage it, it would blow up. And with this Legendary, it would blow up and you would die with it. And then you'd just be left in the graveyard questioning what does happen and yeah so luckily they are actually nerfing this then we have scarlet inquisitors expurgation what who names this all right now increases divine storm damage by three percent per stack when attacking players was six percent per stack so they've pretty much just um nerfed uh, legendaries by like 50 percent which i think is definitely warranted um i don't think this one is much of as of an issue as the others which were pretty much just like boom in your face damage this is more gradual so um it's not as potent moving on we have a dreadlord's deceit now increases the damage of shuriken storm by six percent per stack when attacking players was 20 
was 25% per stack, guys. So this is a huge nerf to rogues. That it's definitely warranted, though. Again, rogues have raid wiping capabilities. If you don't believe me, like stick for you. You're gonna see this video. It's freaking ridiculous. Then we also have fiery red maimers. Now increases the damage done by 165% when attacking players was 500%. So again, definitely another warranted nerf. Now my only really real concern here is the dreadlords deceit. Now, assassination spec rogues and outlaw spec rogues could pretty much just go in Fang of Knives, and once they got the stacks high enough, they could literally just kill an entire raid with Fang of Knives, and it would just crit everyone for like 4 million. Um, it's insane. So, I'm actually just going to go straight to the clip so you guys can see it. Now, um, big ups to my boy, uh, Savix, for definitely uh, letting me use this clip. It was actually taken off of his live stream, guys. And it's insane. He has like a group together, and I, I don't, I'm not really sure exactly what they were gonna do, but they have a full group together, and these rogues just come in and they just like destroy the entire freaking raid. So let's get into those clips. Don't stack. Okay, okay. <laughs> if we went today, where would you take me? I would take you to the best McDonald's restaurant in the world, and I get one shot at. Back surgeon, payback time, dude. Get out of here, dude. That was pretty freaking insane, but big ups to Savix for killing the rogue in the end. Now, moving on to the main question at hand, and that is, does this fix world PvP? And sadly, I really don't think so, guys. I think more or less this is applying a big band-aid to the festering wound that is world PvP. Keep in mind that there are going to be multiple components to PvP, um, three main components, I should say. Uh, that's going to be damage, healing, and absorbs. Now, it's great to see that they've, of course, fine-tuned the damage a little bit. They've brought the damage down. That is really, really awesome. But all that means is that now heals are going to be feel that much more powerful and be that much more valuable. So hybrid classes and, of course, healers are going to be performing insanely well in World PvP. I don't even want to imagine trying to kill a healer in World PvP. So now this brings up the obvious question, okay, why doesn't Blizzard just apply PvP templates to World PvP? Like, problem solved, right? And Blizzard has actually gone on record explaining why they don't want to do that. So imagine, okay, you're a 950 atom level player and you're ta you're out in the world, like killing a mob, blah, 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 blah. And then a player runs up to you and he tags you. Now, once he tags you, does it make sense for you to be penalized by having your heals reduce, your damage reduce, and your absorption reduce? across the board by 50 percent it doesn't really it's not really fair right so it's a lot easier for blizzard to say you know what okay um player b is attacking player a we'll just make it so the player versus player interaction um damage is reduced by 50 percent as opposed to decreasing the heal that that player can do by 50 percent it doesn't even make sense i i, I can't i can't even think about it like <laughs> it doesn't make any sense for them to reduce your healing by 50 percent when a player is attacking you if you're out in the world trying to kill a mob because now this makes the um player versus world interaction that much more difficult right and that's something that i think blizzard is really trying to um avoid and i don't really think we're going to see a resolution to this until um battle for azeroth so hopefully battle of azeroth is has everything fine-tuned in terms of world pvp and pvp that that's the dream guys it's the dream um, but other than that, that is it for this video. And if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel for some awesome gaming and fitness content. Let's go. Woo!